with the Board of Directors of the Parkinson's Association of San Diego. We're here today with Dr. Dave Barba and Rick Bridges. Rick is on our board and Dr. Barba is with the UCSD and the San Diego VA. You've had uh, many things going on over there, including the start of a new support group. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. Thanks, Kathy. Yes, we're very excited about having the opportunity to have a multidisciplinary clinic for veterans at the San Diego Veterans Hospital to treat patients with Parkinson's disease. So we have doctors, surgeons, medicine, as well as physical therapists over there, occupational therapists. So we have a whole team of people interested in helping out with uh, veterans with Parkinson's disease. And you're uh, having a uh, ribbon cutting ceremony for your interdisciplinary clinic coming up there. That's right. In addition to our clinic, we have, uh, which is going to be opening this this month, with a brand new clinic opening. We also have support groups for Parkinson's disease that you can help with in getting going, and it's a really big deal for us because the San Diego has the largest collection of veterans in uh, North America so we think this is a really big opportunity to help a lot of people with Parkinson's. Thank you so much and that is a great uh, program the new uh, support groups for veterans of which Rick is a veteran and he's a charter member of our support group. Rick tell us a little bit about what it means to have a veteran support group. I think knowing that there are other people that are engaged in the same challenges is comforting. Uh, you're not Single out is somebody that is uh, very unique. Uh, in, in, in the VA, we have a community that maybe is not that exposure to uh, some of the support systems that both TDSA uh, has for them and the VA. And together, we can uh, systematically address those populations and get them to participate. Uh, and it kind of feeds on itself. Yes, we started two support groups pretty quickly. They felt filled up and we're, we have waiting lists because this is a fairly new diagnosis for the VA system, isn't it? Right, it's now a, the Parkinson's disease is a uh, VA disability and so where there's a lot of individuals and as people get older, Parkinson's becomes a problem as well. So it's a VA service connected disability as well as a disease that affects millions of people in the United States. So this is a real opportunity to help a lot. Yes, we're, we're very excited and of course the Parkinson's Association of San Diego has teamed up with San Diego VA to uh, build this uh, new uh, portion of the programming, which is the support groups. That's right. And as like Rick pointed out, there's a lot of different problems that people with Parkinson's have. And to have the support of the, of the people in the community is good. But to have this comprehensive team gives you the chance to be able to look at all the different aspects that are the problems with Parkinson's disease. So this is a big, yeah. great opportunity. Yeah, like a one-stop shop. That's exactly right. She looks like a runner because she did the walk and run. And we have some of our other team members over here. So I'm Catherine Prince and I'm a physical therapist. I'm Carter McElroy, I'm a physical therapist. And I'm Carrie McCullough, I'm a physical therapist and the supervisor. I'm Kim Bond, I'm an occupational therapist. I'm Susan E, speech pathologist. And Linda Fields, clinical trials coordinator. Well, I sure see what you mean about interdisciplinary team. Yes, now we have people from all works of life here trying to help patients with Parkinson's disease. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing at UCSD. So we have the research component, which is associated with the, uh, the Alzheimer's research study at UCSD is looking at cognitive problems. We have the clinical team here, so we can help you with speech therapy, physical therapy, and occupational therapy problems. And then over there we have the researchers who are looking at stem cell research and some gene therapy options for Parkinson's. That's very important. So if somebody comes to your clinic, do they have an opportunity to use all the different facets? I mean... Usually I'll start off with our neurologist because okay, they, you know, Dr. that's sort of the process starts. You will have evaluations by the team members, including uh, who's not here, Dr. Philoteo, so we can look at your cognitive Dr. issues. Dr. Philoteo, he's right there. Come on over. There he is. He's the neuropsychologist, and he's with UCSD and the San Diego VA. And he's also my co-facilitator for the support group. Hi. Hi. So this is the, for the Parks Association. They're interested about the multidisciplinary team and the stuff we're doing at the UCSD and at the VA hospital. So as you can see, we have people from all, all, all aspects helping take, take, taking care of the problems that are associated with Parkinson's disease. Okay.